So, I mean, uh, this comes up a lot when people are st working with obesity. They'll want to say, like, do people, with, are the people who are, have obesity different than the people who are not? Um, one of the things that's going to come up for me, I'm giving a talk in November. I'll be gone for a week that week, unfortunately, for you guys. Um, I probably will make videos and have someone else do it so that you have a different person doing something different in here. But um, during that time, I'm talking about the ACFT, and what they wanted to ask is, is it unfair to women? That was the question. And um, that question is really interesting because really, I think it has to do with a lot more than just gender. Um, and I showed you some of the data. BMI was one thing that showed up that if you, you have to just be bigger to lift more. Um, there's no 22 BMI skinny person like me maxing out a deadlift. It's not happening. So unfortunately, most women are smaller that are here at West Point. So I don't know like if it's unfair to women or unfair to people who are leaner. Um, you're still three. had a few of these ideas too. You were comparing groups inside a table. You were looking at... Um, in this case, you were comparing categorical variables. That's what we call the response. They had a response, yes or no. They're always talking about explanatory variables and, and response variables. So you had the three groups, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, and then you were looking at their responses and comparing those three groups against each other. So this comes up quite a bit. <coughs> so for homework, for next time, um, read page 264 and fill in the table for number seven and turn that as a hard copy to me in the next class. I think um, what I'd like to do, instead of giving the whole exploration, just, just from um, looking at your test and then looking back at what we did, we had those exploration exercises, and they were so long we could never finish them. So what I'd like to do is go to the key points. I think the table and number 15 are the most important questions. And this, um, this one, that you'll read it, it's kind of a gross story, it's a real story. It was a nurse that was actually killing patients, um, but they didn't know if she was actually killing patients, so they had to use statistics to find out if there was a difference between when she was on shift and off shift. Did everybody get that? I'm recording this, so. You're horrified by that. It's horrifying, like it. 